Okay, good morning. Today we're looking at lesson 7-6. Uh, we're looking at um, equivalent fractions on page 383 in your workbook. And if you notice, the first question asks you to compare halves and fourths, and you can use your fraction bars or you can use this interactive fraction bar tool that I found online. I'll send you a link to that. And it just the first thing wants to know how many fourths does it take to equal one half. So you just keep sticking your fourths up there till it's equal. And you can see right there, it's pretty simple. One half equals two fourths. Those are equivalent fractions. So on your workbook page, they just want you to first complete the sentence. So two fourths equals one half. And then down below, fill in the numerator in the box. So the numerator would be one, two, two because that's how many fourths pieces you have. Then the next one asks you to do the same thing, only this time you're looking at eighths. So how many eighths will it take to equal one half? And you can see right there that four eighths equals one half. So number two asks you the question, how many eighths are in one half? The answer is four. And then it says complete this, these two equations. The sentence that you would complete first is you would fill in the number four, four eighths equals one half. And then below that in the box, you would fill in the numerator. And the numerator is asking you how many eighths pieces, right? Because you can see that eight is the denominator. So one, two, three, four, your numerator is four, four eighths equals one half. In other words, if you're eating a pizza and you eat half the pizza in just one ginormous half size slice, or you have the pizza cut up into eight pieces like pizza should be, and you eat four of those pieces, you've eaten the same amount of pizza. Okay, that's all for part one. And uh, I'm gonna also record a part two.